Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. He'll never survive this. Next election, he'll get destroyed. Maybe. I've seen Osborne survive worse. He is a cop. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Ugh. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Crap. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember... Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Stay alert. I think we got company. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm tech. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. The fabulous Osborne boys. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses.
Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Norman bids his son farewell. Huh. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No phones found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. I know he lo Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman is- This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. goes for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. Harry's room, but it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy, at least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this?
Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Running a sweep. Something control. Stand by. down. Project has gone to hell. 
GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the uh, looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. <laughs> Sable troop deployments. <sighs> They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Oscorp's going all- No. A records facility could be perfect cover for the- Dr. Strom. No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Where do these three categories overlap? That- no. Dr. Michaels was near a lot of Sable forces. Good ol' Alpha Team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. No. I need to track Michaels. No. Norman's not crazy. Ben Adder is a- Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath Team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Should check the patrol routes against Oscorp buildings. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Good ol' Alpha Team. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27! That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR-27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. I thought this was just a consultation. I've always seemed ready. Stop going in there. No, you can't. It's too late. Oh, oh. 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 Norman and Otto, they started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Copy. Make it a sweep.
something. Checking it out. Stand by, Control. I heard something. Might have something, Control. Stand by. Standing down, Control. False alarm. Need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner.